Welcome to module A, problem A.3 on page 5, sorry, 675. I'm also going to do an Excel video on this, but I wanted to show you the math behind the cells. To find the expected monetary value, you simply take the probability and multiply it by the value in the table. So this shows you in detail how to get the 12,200 for the large stock. So a 30% chance of $22,000 profit, a 50% chance of a $12,000 profit, and a 20% chance of a $2,000 loss. You multiply the weight times the value, and then you total it up. So you get an expected profit of a large stock of 12,200. The average stock is 10,400 and the small stock is 7,500. The maximum inventory in part A is, or expect maximum expected monetary value is 12,200. So that's the largest profit you can reasonably expect to make. In part B, expected value, perfect information. So you take the expected value with perfect information. What that means is this, the expected value with perfect information would be is if you knew the size in this case of the crowd, if you knew for a fact so what you do is you take the largest number from each of the calculations in the table after you've multiplied it by the weight and you sum it up. And I'll show you in more detail in the Excel video because this may be not as clear here. And the software will calculate it for you. So the expected value of perfect information is the difference between knowing for certain what the size of the crowd will be and the maximum EMV with uncertainty. So that is worth $1,600. They did show the calculations where, in this case, they take the 30% of the 22,000 to get, this is where you get the 13,800. You take 50% of the 12,000, and then you take 20% of the 6,000. So you're taking the largest numbers uh, from once you've calculated that. And it, it may be more clear when you see the Excel, if you see the table. If you take 30% of 22 of 14 and nine, the largest one is gonna be the 22. If you take 50% of the 12, the 10 and the eight, the largest one is gonna be the 12. If you take 20% of the negative 2,000, 6,000 plus and 4,000 plus, the largest one is going to be 6,000. So just to circle these, this is the largest value from this column. This is the largest value from these sets of numbers, the 50%. And this is the largest value from the 20%, and that becomes the three numbers down here at the bottom. All right. And so that shows you how to do it manually, although the Excel software I'll show you in a moment when you watch the video will do it for you. I hope you found that valuable.